I'm Barry, and this is my house. Oh, that was and a tip right now! Oh, that's me. so Oh, I'm photos. photography. Oh, that oh, worked. I need to take a photo of yes. my skis. Oh, you're so uh, good. Uh, you're so good at it. Look at your hair. We are Barry, Ben, Jamie, and Mike, the guys from Sorted Food. When it comes to cooking, everyone likes different things. So today, join us in one of our homes to see what we love to eat and why. Get ready, because we're making it personal. Now I've asked Ben to create a dish that he thinks personifies me. And what are we going for, Ben? Cherry souffle mousse. This is definitely a setup. Something here sweet, somewhere. pink, fluffy, and delicious. But more importantly, Ow. it looks good on camera. I was thinking for Okay, photography. I'll give you that. Mainly. So it starts off with cherry juice. Basically, we're going to reduce right down with some cherry brandy. Both of those onto heat and mm -hmm. reduce it until it's about half. My first question is, how can a souffle be a mousse and a mousse be a souffle? They're two very different things. So it's a cold mousse. It yeah. looks like a souffle, it's an illusion. You play, it's ah. playing with the mind, it's trick photography, hence. Okay, I'm with you, I'm with you, gotcha. What we need to do that, to set it, is actually use gelatin. It's gonna be a mousse set with gelatin. Right. So three gelatin leaves in here, cover that with cold water, and leave that to soak. And then for the first real bit is the egg. So split three eggs, and we want egg yolks and whites separate. I have to be honest, coming to your kitchen, yep. I was looking for cherry related themed things. Uh -huh. I was amazed at how much pink stuff. They are not my bowls. They are got... definitely are not my bowls. <laughs> Everything is pink. <laughs> Again, they are not my bowls. First up, the egg yolks, a tablespoon of caster sugar, mm -hmm. and that needs to be whisked up until it is thick enough to get like a figure of eight in the mixture. My house, my rules, I am not whisking for once. There. I'll whisk. I've got the egg whites. They need to be stiff peak. Now this bit takes about three or four minutes, so I'd heavily recommend using a machine rather than whisking. <laughs> While you're over there, yeah. if you can do double cream as well, we want kind of soft peaks out of that. And I'm going to add some caster sugar into the egg whites so it goes nice and glossy. And then next up, we can make our cherry custard. So if you bring your yes. eggs over, look at that. That's the consistency you want from your egg. Something that sort of you can draw a figure of eight in. And then if you whisk as the hot cherry liquid goes in. So does this bit Keep kind of cook the eggs? Yeah, it's, it's like not. a cherry custard, basically. Mm. Now you put it back into here, once it's all equally combined. Return it to the hob, and over quite high heat, it literally just takes 30 seconds, same as you would a custard, mm -hmm. keep it moving. And now we add in our gelatin. So you squeeze out all the liquid from there, it goes into our hot cherry custard. Can you grab a plate oh. from the freezer? Why, why is there a plate from the freezer? I'll explain, you get it. I'm what we want to do now is chill this down. So the easiest and quickest way to do that is a cold plate. Doesn't look like a souffle yet, Ben. Nope. What you need to do, Here's some I prepared earlier. Okay, this, this is the magic bit, okay? Pay close attention. It's a ramekin, and all we need to do is create a little kind of uh, sleeve out of some greaseproof paper yep. that sits perfectly inside and sits higher, prouder than the top. So it looks like it's risen. So it looks like a souffle. This is our sorted twist. I know that you love brandy. Yeah. Cherry brandy, sweet. I'm gonna give you an extra shot inside of your set mousse, which is already souffled above the level of the ramekin. Boom. And all that's left to do is mix everything else together. So cream going into our yep. slightly cool, slightly set up cherry custard. Obviously you've put lots of air into it to try and keep as much Ooh. air into it as possible. These are then gonna go into our meringue. You don't want to knock out too much air, so just mm -hmm. before it's all mixed in, our final pink bowl full of more cherryness. I was going to say, I don't think it's pink enough yet. Cherry jam going in there as well. And then we're going to spoon this, this in. This could go everywhere, couldn't it? Yeah. Basically fill it right up to the top, but not over, mm -hmm. because then we're going to put the shot glass in, insert it in there. And what that does mm -hmm. is it looks like quite a big portion, but obviously the great thing is that all inside of there is hollow. Continue to fill up the other ramekins, yep. put them in the fridge to chill for a good three or four hours, then later on we come off, peel off the outside and finish it off with more cherries. Shall I do that then? It's your place. Sweet. This is a moment of truth. Cherry souffle mousse. Oh, it look looks that. like it's risen like a souffle. It's a magic mousse. We need some brandy in that. Some brandy in there, and I think fresh cherries to finish it off. And that is a souffle. And finish it with a sprig of mint. No, you can't get a put a sprig of mint, Ben. Just there. Ta-da! My, my pudding is ruined with sprig of mint. One cherry souffle mousse sorted. Mike, I'm really confused. Ja uh, Jamie, I'm also confused. I've, you know, I've heard Barry talk about all of these things and his amazing life, mm -hmm. and I've never heard him talk about them before in the 15 years that I've known him. Like, there's some skis over there. 
And there's some documented evidence that Barry went skiing once, once in 1995. Yeah. It just seems that he's gone once and therefore he's built his life around that lifestyle. Mm. I found this photo here. Classic Mini. And it came with this caption that says, my first Mini. So you got a Mini. Yeah. And he got a Mini. Yeah, but the difference is, yeah. I didn't crash mine within a week of owning it. Yeah, I, I, well, I have to clarify that this is actually one of six photos <laughs> that says my second Mini, my third Mini, <laughs> my fourth Mini, my fifth. Another thing, you've got a cat. I do, yeah. A grey cat. It is grey apparently. Yeah. And well, you're never gonna believe this, but watch. Here it is. Oh, oh, it's jumpy. The point I was trying to prove is yeah. that Barry has an identical cat. What do you mean? Well, it looks exactly like your cat, doesn't it? That was my cat. No, it wasn't. Now Barry turned up to the studio uh, a few months ago uh, wearing this, was it this one or was it that one? Barry turned up wearing one of these jackets, which was strange mm -hmm. because we've been out a couple of weeks beforehand mm -hmm. with Barry and his girlfriend Hayley, and she turned up wearing the same jacket as well. Yeah. It turns out Barry bought the same jacket as Hayley. Yeah, isn't that nice? Barry is the wrong name for a baby, isn't it? We tried to think of other Barrys. Manilow. Yeah. Barry White. Barry Island. Barry from EastEnders. That's a place in Wales. Yeah. Barry Scott from those TV adverts. Yeah, Silly so, so Bang. Yeah. That, that's, that's gone. gone. Mm. Mary Barry. Anyway, we could probably go on, but we probably shouldn't because he's already crying into his mum's scarf. There we go. Right, first mouthful. Souffle mousse. It's almost meringue-like. Mm? This is the best series ever because it's all my favourite food and I didn't even know this was my favourite food until I had it. It's sweet, it's pink, it's fluffy and it looks good. What more do you want? Hey, that's a compliment though. We want to know though what makes your food personal to you. Comment down below so we can know.